a sermon request today, um, and that is how to have assurance of salvation. Um, this has been uh, this was brought up recently by someone who emailed me, and and but it's been a continuing theme for many years now, and uh, people just saying, how do I have assurance of salvation? You know, how do I really know if my salvation is genuine? How you know? And they have these questions, and uh, we're going to talk about that in this study today. So let's go first in our Bibles, King James Bibles, to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Deuteronomy 28. That's where we're going to start out. I'm going to show you some scripture that talks about somebody that does not have assurance of salvation. Deuteronomy 28, verses 64 through 67 Okay, it says here, And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease. Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest, but the Lord shall give thee a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shalt have none assurance. There's the first time it shows up in the King James Bible. Again, law of first mention. Shalt have none assurance of thy life. In the morning thou shalt say, Would God it were even. And at even thou shalt say, Would God it were morning. For the fear of thine heart wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. Have you ever been there? I have. Back when I was 25 years old and uh, I had thought, you know, uh, that I was saved. I had prayed a prayer when I was eight years old in Sunday school and I thought, I'm a Christian. Sure, my life didn't resemble anything in the Bible, but, you know, I was a friend of the world and I loved the world and, and everything else. But I'm a Christian, so, you know, I must be saved. But boy, about the time I was 24 or so years old, I started to really have some doubts. And that led to a lot of study and a lot of soul searching and, and a lot of praying to God and asking, am I really saved? I, you know, I don't know. I had no assurance of salvation. And what it led to is it led to great fear because I thought to myself, what if I'm not really saved? What if that salvation, that prayer that I had prayed, what if it wasn't genuine? And, you know, I didn't understand repentance. I didn't understand any of that stuff back when I had first gotten saved. I was a boy. I was doing what I was told in Sunday school, you know. I mean, I wanted to fit in with all the other children that were raising their hands and everything, you know. And, and so I had made a profession of faith and not really even understanding what that meant. And that was what I was counting on for salvation. And I came to realize, hey, you know what? I don't think it took. And people say, well, it probably did.